What's up everybody, I'm Tani Rose and in this video I will be talking about my pink and rose gold ombre twist and I collaborated with the Janet Collection and I got this easy braid pre-stretched lightweight hair like I said in the color rose gold and it is well okay it's pink here and then it gets rose gold there if you can see this is the softest hair that I've used so far and I thought the texture is really interesting I do have some left over um, I took uh, it took me no I used four and a half packs of hair I asked for I guess I got eight they sent me eight packs of hair um, just to be on the safe side make sure that I have enough and that I wouldn't run out and then I ended up using like four and a half so this is what's left of the hair and the texture is very interesting because it's like it's different it's as if the pieces were like originally straight and then they were like crinkled it has like a crinkly effect that I don't know if it'll make it onto the hold on, let me see it has like a crinkly kind of very subtle crinkliness like a like how you used to fold a paper fan when you was little so I found that to be interesting usually when I'm doing these kind of twists or protective styles I'm kind of easy on how much hair I put on my head because I don't want to stress out my edges I don't want to stress out any other parts of my head so I'm, I'm really going for lightweight use the exact amount of hair I needed to look full and still be light but for this I didn't I didn't do it like that. I wasn't doing it to make sure that it was lightweight. I just did it for the look. I wanted it to look good. I wanted it to look full. And I achieved that, y'all. I achieved it. I thought this hair wasn't going to be long enough. I mean, I was looking at it and it's already pre-stretched and ready to go. So I was like, okay, the first piece I took, took the piece and then I twisted it on. And you got the ombre effect for sure. You got the, you know, the black, the pink, the rose gold. Boom. Okay, cool, but it still wasn't long enough. I think I still have one of them installed just for the sake of this video. Hold that thought. So this is the first piece that I did and all I did was take it apart from the group and braid it and twist it onto my hair. And I was looking at it and I was like, something's not all the way right with this. Um, something all the way right with this. So I kept going I did like the first bottom row and then it hit me you didn't stretch the hair now stretching the hair it's already pre-stretched right got that it's pre-stretched but there's something about not stretching the piece and what I mean by stretching I mean taking the piece stretching it out a little bit and then braiding it onto my hair there's something about not doing that even on pre-stretched hair so as you can see you get the full ombre effect you get the dark pink rose gold right here on stretched hair because when you stretch it the colors start to mix up and the black is not solid black now I got a little pink in it so we can start you know the pink starts at the top and then eventually you get down to no black at the bottom right and that's fine for me I I don't mind that I like it what I don't like is how the twist looks without stretching it. I mean, it looks good as far as the ombre, but the actual twist itself looks kind of like, I don't know, it looks kind of weird. And then I wasn't sure if I continue to do it like this, that my hair wasn't gonna end up being longer than the pieces, cause, wait, is this the I'm not exactly sure where my video got cut off, but I think the bottom line that I was saying is, I like stretching my pieces on pre-stretched hair even if it means I sacrifice the color of the ombre. And another thing that I thought was really cute about the Janet Collection and their hair is they show, they tell you how to braid. I think it's really cute. I don't know if you can see it well, but um, yeah, they have directions like how to braid, how to twist, and how to dip the hair, and, and all these fun little, little instructions that I, I haven't noticed on anybody else's package. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but I really, I think it's really cute that they do it on their packaging. So now I'm gonna go ahead and usher you guys on to the video where I actually install a couple of these twists. Um, if you want to know how I prep my hair for 
my protective styles, my braids or twists or whatever, I will leave that link in the description box because that's a whole other thing that I do. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the description box. Like this video if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos about protective styles, braids and twists and curly hair routines and products and all that stuff. If that's what you're into, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.